Fear and racism is the universal theme addressed in Paul Haggis's 2000 film, Crash. Even though this is the theme, the director opens the film with an invite to solutions. I think we miss that touch so much that we crash into each other just so we can feel something. Throughout the film, he highlights the reasoning behind racism and opens the door to dialogue and healing within the audience. Haggis is a master director that uses numerous film techniques to relay his message of hope in a fearful world. The context of the film is set post 9-11 in Los Angeles, California. The director includes numerous Los Angeles landmark shots to emphasize the city. He also uses dialogue in almost every scene mentioning the differing neighborhoods in the larger Los Angeles metropolis. Gotta be 40 and nobody jacks a car and takes it to Studio City. Dialogue is also used to place the story post 9-11 when racism in Los Angeles had reached a peak. Yo, Sama, plan the jihad on your own time. What do you want? Crash dissects racism through multiple subplots with various race-related conflicts. The director covers most California racial groups with his depictions of white people scared of black people with guns, black people scared of white people with guns, Persians and Latinos scared of each other with guns, and pretty much all cultures scared of the power of an authority over their day-to-day -day life. Foreshadowing is commonly used to move the storyline. Each camera angle reveals more about how these fearful subgroups are related to each other as a whole. Haggis seems to be a big fan of the close-up to reveal important props. He chooses the young man's shoe, the dangling Chinaman's keys, and the discarded invoice to emphasize these as important plot points. Conflict is evident throughout the film. The director uses the over-the-shoulder camera shot to emphasize the different characters' perception of the situation as seen in these still frames. It is especially effective when trying to convey not only obvious physical conflict, but the highly emotional internal conflict used in the film, as seen in this confrontation between Ryan Phillippe and Terrence Howard's characters. You want something from me? Because I'm right here. I'm trying to help you. I didn't ask for your help, did I? Lastly, I'd like to talk just a bit about the utilization of light in the film as an element of visual storytelling. As I mentioned, the film is not only an ana analysis of racism, it also offers alternatives. The use of light throughout enhances the change in the characters and transitions in the action. In this scene, Officer Ryan, played by Matt Damon, begins in the shadows of fear and racism. However, as the scene concludes, you can witness the clear transition of the character through the use of light. Watch the light as it washes over his face. The metaphor of change through light extends throughout the ending of the film. When Jean finally realizes her true friend, her past dissolves into the flames. The flames also burn away the innocence and ideals of Officer Hansen. In the dimly lit light of a stolen van, we see some change in Anthony. And then Haggis comes full circle, shining a new light on the racist comments of Shaniqua. Haggis concludes his exploration of racism with an overhead shot that reveals the true bond between all parties. His message is very clear.